All right. Um, yeah, there's another PayPal from um, Alvaro. Jesus, I'm tired today. That's so why I'm only doing a couple of reactions today because I am tired. But Mother Love Bone, Chloe Dancer slash Crown of Thorns. I think people, I don't know if this is the same song or it's two songs in one. It's lyrics, so maybe it's that's the name of the song. But because people, maybe people just call it Chloe Dancer because I, I saw comments of people saying do Chloe Dancer. Um, so yeah, we're doing it. Let's go. Up until that line, I was thinking, is this his sister he's talking about? But until he said lying by her side, which I suppose you can still lie by the side of your sister, I doesn't mean. But typically, if someone's saying lying by her side, it's going to be a lover. Because um, I don't think I'd lie by the side of my sisters. It'd be creepy as a mug. But yeah, let's go. songwriting in this band. Great line. In fact, the songwriting, both of them lines, how that come in, was great. lyrics I wanna tell you that I love you but does it really matter I just can't stand to see you drag him down
reminds me of a Patrice O'Neill quote where he says, um, uh, women, if you want to understand men, then you have to understand that as men, we want to be by ourselves, but we don't want to be on our own. <laughs> if that makes sense. <coughs> it's like you can be around, just it's like you can be in the other room. You can be on the roof if you want. You can be in the air vents looking at me if you want to do that. But just don't be right next to me. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> it's the kind that moves on. It's the kind that leaves me alone. Yeah. I used to treat you like a lady. Now you're the substitute teacher. This band, I'd actually put better than what come before them and what came after them. There's definitely still that hangover of the kind of stadium rock sound. But it's just so much more. The, the songs seem to just have way, to, way more depth to them than those type of bands. Um... And there's nothing wrong with those type of bands that aren't deep lyrically, but this definitely, because as well, it's another one of them lyrics where it's it's telling you a story, a bit like how Jeremy is with Pearl Jam. It, the, the story is there, but if you're not, I feel like this is a real story wrote about a real person. Like, and it might not be, it might be just made up, but that's just how they making it feel. Like it feels more intimate than the kind of hair metal band. And even the grunge scene, although there are like, they all are able to do intimate as well, more than the, what was before them. But this band, because I've done, f this is the fourth track now. And from the first one I started out on, I was thinking, okay, they're going to be this type of band. And then each other song has been more like mellow and more, yeah, intimate, more 
um, seeming to have some kind of depth. But yeah, let's go. Yeah, I can even hear a kind of pre even Oasis with kind of how the song is structured. Such great songwriting. And that's it, and people might not like Oasis, but there's a lot of things you can say about that band, but Noel can write songs. He can write his ass off, and he has a perfect structure. And I feel this band pre oasis has that same ability to structure they're almost like well i know people said in the comments that i think it's actually lydia that said in the comments that um yeah uh if he hadn't have died then they would have been the first which then maybe it, it yeah i suppose it is kind of a butterfly effect someone else said that because maybe because there's no doubt that this sound of this band is is vastly different from Soundgarden um, and all of that. So we, if this band would have blown up and kind of took over, you probably wouldn't, that probably would have completely changed the whole grunge thing. Because these songs are like beautiful, to be honest. Like, other than Star Dog Champion, which I will probably say is, like, that's the one I've listened to the most. Because um, it just fits in with the kinds of stuff I'm listening to at the minute. Uh, but every other song has been beautiful. I think these are like a Zeppelin. Like, when I started doing, I don't know if I said it before about him, but when I started doing Zeppelin, I um, uh, found out that that actually Zeppelin is more of an acoustic band than a rock band. They have a lot more acoustic songs, which is kind of, was kind of mind blowing to me. Um, but I feel this band's probably going to be the same. Well, I know it's only what people have requested, but a lot of people wanted this track and they definitely have a great songwriter, like, because I can appreciate music of all different things, but I am a sucker for songwriting. And I can definitely hear when someone has mastered the craft of songwriting and when someone hasn't. Um, and also that solo. That solo was nice. It was subtle. Um, it wasn't a blazing guitar solo. Um, but it kind of, And it kind of had that lingering of the stadium sound of the guitar but the solo was just yeah it was a beautiful solo yeah yeah this band is a, a hidden gem i think i said even said that before 
I think I said that on the last one, but they they really are. I think this is pretty since Soundgarden, the band that's kind of jumped out on me and grabbed me in that way, where like other things I've become intrigued by, and kind of uh, like things like tra the tragically hip. Um, cold chisel like it's you hear these types of bands and I'm and, and they're more like oh, I want to hear more of this um, but you just know what it's like sometimes you just hear something and for whatever reason it just resonates with you the the sound of it and not just what it's wrote about or whatever have you just kind of the sound the feeling the vibe and it just for whatever reason resonates and this band, I will say, probably since Soundgarden, because when I first started listening to Soundgarden, I was like, fucking hell, have I never heard of this band? And I kind of, I mean, but then I've done that with a lot. I've done that with Rush. I'd heard of Frank Zappa, but never listened to him. But Rush, I'd never even really heard of. Although I did know one of their songs, but didn't know the band who did it. I didn't know the song either. I'd just heard talk. Um, but yeah, I do think these are the most, um, me band. Um, and that is a big shout because I enjoy everything, but these definitely resonate with me in that different way. It's like I'm a big Oasis fan and there's endless amount of bands in the nineties, even just in Britain that you can say are all better musicians than Oasis, but. For whatever reason, when I was younger, Oasis just, they just grabbed me like that. I think as well, because they banged on about the Beatles and I was a Beatles fanatic. So I think that very much led me into them. But um, yeah, I definitely as well want to kind of, we have watched the documentary, but yeah, I have to watch more stuff on this band. Because I do think that they would have wiped the floor with the Seattle scene. And that's not an insult to Pearl Jam, even though I know Pearl Jam kind of manifested later on. Um, but when you have Soundgarden's early stuff and all of that, where it's really rocky, this band feel, feels like they are a complete unit. Whereas you heard like say Chris Cornell develop and you can see from his early song the early songs to when he's writing seasons and things like that um how he improved but this band just seemed like they just got it down they've they've got it um yeah great band but yeah that's the reaction sweet